Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Lalima Aneja Dang with the news at 9. The headlines. India becomes space power after its ballistic missile successfully shoots down live satellite in a low earth orbit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Mission Shakti aims at strengthening India's overall security assures international community it will not be used against any country Scrutiny of nomination papers for second phase of Lok Sabha elections held today voting in 97 constituencies in this phase on 18th April A consortium of banks recovers over 1000 crore rupees from sale of shares of fugitive offender Vijay Malya says enforcement directorate and in sports india and south korea enter the final of sultan azlan shah hockey cup in malaysia and in ipl cricket match between kolkata knight rider kings and 11 punjab underway at eden gardens Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO today successfully conducted an anti-satellite ASAT missile test under Mission Shakti from Dr APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. A DRDO developed ballistic missile, defence interceptor missile successfully engaged an Indian orbiting target satellite in low earth orbit LEO in a hit to kill mode. An official release said the interceptor missile was a three-stage missile with two solid rocket boosters. Tracking data from range sensors has confirmed that the mission met all its objectives. In his address to the nation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that India has demonstrated anti-satellite mission capability, missile capability by shooting down a live satellite on a low earth orbit. Mr Modi said an anti satellite missile ASAT destroyed the live satellite within 3 minutes he said with this india has registered herself as a space power until now only us russia and china have achieved this bharat ne aaj apna naam antariksh mahashakti space power ke roop mein darj kara diya hai ab tak duniya ke teen desh america rus aur china ko यह उपलब्धि हासिल की अब भारत चौथा देश है जिसने आज यह सिद्धि प्राप्त की हर हिंदुस्तानी के लिए इससे बड़े गर्व का पल नहीं हो सकता है कंग्रेचुलेटिंग ऑल डी आर डी ओ साइंटिस्ट फॉर अचीविंग दिस अनपैरल फीट मिस्टर मोदी सेड टूडे इज मिशन शक्ति इज एम्ड एट स्ट्रेंथनिंग इंडिया ओवरऑल सिक्योरिटी He assured the international community that India's capability will not be used against anyone but is purely a defense initiative for its security. Main aaj vishv samuday ko aashwast karna chahta hu ki humne jo nayi kshamta prapt ki hai yah kisi ke virudh nahi hai yah tez gati se aage badh rahe Hindustan ki rakshatmak pehal hai. आज का यह परीक्षण किसी भी तरह के अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कानून अथवा संधि समझौतों का उल्लंघन नहीं करता है लेटर स्पीकिंग टू द साइंटिस्ट वाय वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड द इंटायर नेशन इज प्राउड ऑफ देम फॉर अचीविंग द फीट He said in line with the Make in India इनिशिएटिव द साइंटिस्ट हैव गिवन अ मैसेज टू द वर्ल्ड दैट वी आर लेस देन नन We spoke to defense analyst and the director of Society for Policy Studies Commodore Uday Bhaskar on the implications of today's achievement. This has been done indigenously by the Indian scientific community but concurrently I think the prime minister has also assured the country and the world at large that this is not targeted at any country it is really a way of India demonstrating its own deterrent capability in the event that any kind of satellite capability is used in a manner that is adversarial to India's own national security. President Ramnath Kovin and Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu have congratulated Indian space scientists for Mission Shakti. Mr Kovin said Mission Shakti represents a watershed moment for the country. Vice President Naidu said with the successful launch of anti-satellite missile the country has emerged as a space superpower in the world. Congratulating DRDO Congress President Rahul Gandhi said the country is extremely proud of their work. 
BJP President Amit Shah said the country's proficient scientists always had the talent and capability and all that was needed was the go-ahead from the government. Briefing media in New Delhi, senior BJP leader Arun Jaitley said it was a long time ago that the Indian scientists had a desire and the capability to launch Mission Shakti, but the then government did not allow them. ये बहुत समय पहले से हमारे विज्ञानिकों की इच्छा रही थी और उनका कहना था कि उनके पास ये क्षमता है और भारत सरकार हमें अनुमति नहीं देती है इसका पूरा प्रक्रिया 2014 के बाद जब प्रधानमंत्री जी ने अनुमति दी और हमारे विज्ञानिकों ने इस शोध का कार्य किया है On the other hand, Congress leader Ahmed Patel claimed that the UPA government had initiated the ASAT program which has reached fruition today. Mr Patel congratulated space scientists and the visionary leadership of Dr Manmohan Singh. The new services division of All India Radio will bring you a special bilingual program on success of Mission Shakti. Tune in to FM Gold and Rajdhani channel at 9:15 tonight to listen to this program. The Election Commission has directed a committee of officers to examine the matter of the Prime Minister's address to the nation on electronic media today afternoon in the light of model code of conduct for the Lok Sabha polls. In a statement, the commission said the matter has been brought to the notice of the poll body. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. वायु प्रदूषण की वजह से आज हम जिस हवा में सांस ले रहे हैं वो दिन प्रतिदिन जानलेवा होती जा रही है अस्थमा जैसी बीमारियां बढ़ रही हैं। इस स्थिति को रोकने के लिए हमें आपका डोनेशन चाहिए डोनेशन देने के लिए रेड लाइट पर अपनी कार बंद कर दें। आपका ये छोटा सा डोनेशन है पर्यावरण में बड़ा योगदान और यही है आपका ग्रीन गुड डीड ग्रीन गुड डीड मतलब कुछ हरे भरे काम अपनी धरती के नाम पर्यावरण वन एवं जलवायु परिवर्तन मंत्रालय द्वारा पर्यावरण हित में जारी भाई जब एक ही महीने में 200 के 2000 हजार होते दिखेंगे ना तो सबकी आँखों के आगे ना बस नोटों की चमक छा जाएगी और किसे बुरा लगेगा बिना मेहनत किए इतने पैसे मिल रहे हैं वो भी घर बैठे अरे हमें तो बस लोगो की ना समझी का और लालच का ही फायदा उठाना और उन्हें झांसे में लेना है और ऐसे हम हो जाएंगे माला माल <laughs> कोई ऐसी ही सोच के साथ आपको मीठे सपने दिखा के लूटने आ सकता है अपना पैसा लालच में आकर नहीं समझदारी से निवेश करें क्योंकि बड़े फायदे का लालच नुकसान में बदल सकता है इन्वेस्टर एजुकेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन फंड अथॉरिटी कॉर्पोरेट कार्य मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी Scrutiny of nominations for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections was held today. 97 constituencies spread over 13 states and union territories will go to polls in this phase on the 18th of next month. In Jammu and Kashmir, nomination papers of all the 14 candidates for the Udhampur Doda Lok Sabha constituency have been found valid after scrutiny. Senior BJP leader Dr Jitendra Singh Vikramaditya Singh of Congress and Harsh Dev Singh of Jammu and Kashmir National Panthers Party are among the prominent contestants. In Bihar, 19 nomination papers were rejected during scrutiny. 70 papers were found correct. 89 nomination papers were filed for the second phase. In Odisha, 37 nominations for Lok Sabha and 261 nominations for assembly seats were found valid after scrutiny. Notification for the third phase of Lok Sabha elections will be issued tomorrow. 115 constituencies spread over 14 states and union territories will go to polls in this phase on the 23rd of April. The last date for filing of nominations is 4th of next month. Scrutiny will take place the next day and the last date for withdrawal is 8th of April. Actress Urmila Matondkar joined the Congress in New Delhi today. Mumbai Congress President Milind Deora was present on the occasion speaking to media the actress said it is a significant day for her to join active politics in Uttar Pradesh sitting BJP MP Anshul Verma from Hardoi today joined Samajwadi Party as BJP denied a ticket to him Congress President Rahul Gandhi today said his party is committed to the empowerment of the poor 
addressing a national convention organized by parties OBC department in New Delhi he said there is unemployment in the country and youth are suffering Mr Gandhi said every promise made by his party will be fulfilled if voted to pass har pradesh mein yuva rozgar dhoond raha hai OBC work jo hai wo hi berozgari ke khilaf lad sakta hai main OBC work ko ek guarantee de raha hu aane wale samay mein congress party aapko jagah dene wali hai कोई भी युवा अगर वो हिंदुस्तान में बिजनेस खोलना चाहता है तीन साल के लिए उसे किसी से कोई परमिशन लेने की जरूरत नहीं BJP today alleged that Congress is engaged in a conspiracy driven election campaign briefing reporters in New Delhi senior BJP leader and union minister Nirmala Sitaraman said Congress has run out of issues and is spreading lies to defame the ruling party उनको मैनिफेस्टो के विषय नहीं है इलेक्शन प्रोमिसेस नहीं है दे आर नाउ डिपेंडिंग ओनली ऑन कॉन्स्पेरेसी थियरीज विदाउट एनी फैक्ट्स इन दे हैंड सो बीजेपी इज टेकिंग लीगल एडवाइस सो दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड इंडिविजुअल्स हु आर पार्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्पेरेसी टू डी फेम बीजेपी विल टेक दम टू द कोर्ट Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address an election rally in Akhnur area on the outskirts of Jammu tomorrow. BJP sources told AIR Jammu that Mr Modi will kickstart election campaign for Lok Sabha elections in the state from Dumi village in the area. BSP chief Mayawati today targeted both Congress and BJP saying they are birds of the same feather in betraying the interests of the poor, laborers and farmers. Hitting out at both these parties SP chief Akhilesh Yadav also said they are responsible for the poverty in the country. News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program Janadesh 2019 on the developments related to the general elections 2019. Tune in to the FM Gold channel of AIR from 4:05 p.m. to 4:30 p.m. every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program. The enforcement directorate today said a consortium of banks led by the SBI have recovered over 1000 crore rupees from the sale of shares of fugitive offender Vijay Mallya. The amount was recovered by Bangalore based Debt Recovery Tribunal by sale of over 74 lakh shares held by Mallya in the United Breweries Holdings Limited. The enforcement directorate said the shares attached by the agency is part of its money laundering probe against the liquor baron. In hockey, India and South Korea have entered the final of Sultan Azlan Shah Cup tournament at Ipoh in Malaysia. South Korea defeated Malaysia 2-1 to reach the final which will be played on Saturday. Earlier, India defeated Canada by 7 goals to 3 in their fourth round robin match of the tournament this evening. Striker Mandeep Singh scored a brilliant hat-trick as India outplayed Canada to set one foot on the summit clash of tournament. Mandeep was awarded the man of the match for his fine hat-trick. In IPL cricket, Kolkata Knight Riders were 147 for 3 in 15 overs against Kings 11 Punjab at the Eden Gardens in Kolkata when reports last came in. Earlier Punjab had won the toss and elected to bowl. Both Kolkata and Punjab had won their opening games. Last night, Chennai Super Kings defeated Delhi Capitals by 6 wickets at Delhi to record their second win in as many games. In tomorrow's encounter, Royal Challengers Bengaluru will meet Mumbai Indians in Bengaluru. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. India becomes space power after its ballistic missile successfully shoots down live satellite in a low earth orbit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Mission Shakti aims at strengthening India's overall security assures international community it will not be used against any country scrutiny of nomination papers for second phase of lok sabha elections held today voting in 97 constituencies in this phase on the 18th of april a consortium of banks recovers over 1000 crore rupees from sale of shares of fugitive offender vijay malya says enforcement directorate and in sports india and south korea enter the final of sultan azlan shah hockey cup in malaysia and an ipl cricket match between kolkata knight riders and kings 11 punjab underway at eden gardens and that's all we have for you in the news at 9 good night <laughs> 